Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Steinsgate. So, Okabe has a terrible crush on Mukako, who is a beautiful person, and Okarin is just the worst drama queen in the universe. So, we're, we're going back to the lab now. After I get back to the lab, I take the broken TV down to the brawn tube workshop for repairs. Daru and Mayuri have already gone home, so I have to carry the TV down the narrow staircase by myself. It's brutal and backbreaking work, but I manage. I push the workshop door open with my hips and head inside. The room is dimly lit by the setting sun, but the gloom is offset by the glare from the giant CRT in the center of the room. A 42-inch CRT television. It doesn't seem like something you could get in modern Japan. With LCD TVs becoming the new standard, I seriously doubt anyone would want a bulky old CRT. Oh. You're buff. Oh, you are very buff. Hi. Yo, what's up, Okabe? Sitting in front of the huge CRT is an equally huge man reading a sports newspaper. He's the workshop's manager. Actually, the owner of this whole building. Tenoji Yugo. I call him Mr. Braun, because he is. He's like Mr. Clean, except he's got a beard and a mustache. It's a fitting name for someone who loves brawn tubes, obviously. <laughs> oh, oops. I barely managed to set the heavy TV on the counter. A muscle-bound bald guy talking about love. It sends shivers down my spine for some reason. <laughs> I have a feeling there's more going on here than you're really thinking about. What? Oh! Oh, not that. Not that. Uh, feet. Dareka, dareka na. Alright, Mayuri? Upa is super popular, you know? Even more popular than the hero, Kokeru-kun. They're so cute, I want to collect them all. It's like how you used to collect uh, black fingerless gloves, remember? Hmm. So, do we talk about the fingerless gloves or Kokeru-kun? Let's go fingerless gloves. Open attachment? That's, that's creepy. Why? All right, so it's the same attachment. All right, let's reply. Indeed, but you must never speak of that to anyone else. It was necessary to seal the abomination lying dormant in this right arm of mine. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, back we go. Ah, oh, you guys are hopeless. Man, why do you always talk like that? Mr. Braun begins investigating the cause of the problem. With nothing better to do, I look around the store. I don't know if it's just the dust hanging in the air, but something feels stagnant about this place. There are CRT screens everywhere. The haphazard layout makes them seem like junk, but they're all functional, according to Mr. Braun. Hey. <laughs> He's got a full range of both old and new. Some of them are probably older than me. There are even some flat screen and HD CRTs that came out just before LCDs took the market. The crowds in Akiba thin quickly at night. All the major electronic stores close around 8 or 9 o'clock. And then, as if the liveliness of the day was simply a lie, the town goes silent. Oh yeah? Chipmunk? Chippendale? Oh. The manager glares at me and takes a photo from his wallet. It's a picture of a young girl shyly making a peace sign at the camera. One might assume that this muscle-bound man to be some kind of pervert, but this girl is actually his daughter. She's about 12 years old now, I think. His love for her is second only to his love for CRTs. Or was it the other way around? Don't send up red flags, I beg you. 
The guy who's always showing the photo of his family and bragging about his family is the guy who dies! <laughs> I see her in the store every now and again. What was her name again? <laughs> He's not gonna touch Nai, she's 12! That's it, Nai. A rare name that means to braid. I bet she gets teased a lot for that because, like, if you pronounce it Nai, it means, like, not or no. It's like a negative conjunctive ending. So, she pops up at the store now and again, so we've interacted with her before. And by we, I mean Mayuri, since she's the only one Nai gets along with. Nai always hides when she sees me or Daru, because she's correct in her assessment of their threat levels. <laughs> I must admit, I'm impressed she can sense my aura of madness at such an early age. It's not the aura of madness, sweetie. It's not that. <laughs> Mr. Braun makes a grand noise kissing gesture at his granddaughter's at his daughter's photo. Once again, shivers down my spine. I've been renting the second floor for about six months, but I don't recall ever seeing a customer. I would be surprised if this place were actually making any money. Why don't you assume that he's working with the organization and they're footing the bills? I mean, that's- if I was a Chunibyo, that's what I would be assuming. He puts away the photo and goes back to checking the TV, leaving me with that vague answer. That's good. Oh, yay! <laughs> of course he is! How else is he gonna make money? Yeah. That's fair. That, that's fair. で、回収費ももらうけどな。どうぞだぞ。自分の未来を変えるやもしれぬ男から戦おうとは。これ誰のことだ。俺のことに決まっているでしょう。はあ、磨いて寝ろよ、ガキ。そもそも2階をただ同
The girl looks a little embarrassed. That's honestly surprising. She's adorable. Looks like they're going to have a formal interview. I was going to leave, but since Mr. Braun hasn't kicked me out, I'll stick around for a bit longer. The girl's expression is stiff. I guess she's nervous. Just because of a part-time job interview? In contrast to how she said she wouldn't take no for an answer, she doesn't seem too enthusiastic. Same as me. She shakes her head. <laughs> that was easy. Uh, technically. Finally, an Amane Suzuha seems to relax. Then she looks at me. オッカリンドラマクイーン。最悪が降りかかるかもしれん。これまでも多くの人が俺の名を知ったことで期間に狙われた。アメリカのサラ、イタリアのクラウディオ、フランスのシモン。これ以上誰かを危険な目に合わせ
I mostly frequent the occult board, the future technology board, and sometimes the physics board. I search for threads on the mass disappearance phenomenon, or monkey say kuri su stabbing, st stabbing, stabbing, but turn up nothing. So were those all hallucinations after all? When I peek at the occult bird board, I find posts in multiple threads from someone claiming to be John Titor. Wait, John Titor is back? John Titor appeared on an American BBS five, uh, ten years ago, claiming to be a time traveler. Huh. IBM. He claimed to have traveled from the year 2036 in order to obtain an old computer, the IBM 5100. His claims started uh, quite a storm around the B BBS denizens. Titor also made several accurate, if fragmentary, predictions of future events. Kruitz feeds Jacob disease. The start of the Iraq War, the spread of the Kreutzfeldt Jacob disease, for example. To prove that he was from the future, he explained the principles behind his time machine and provided pictures of its operation manual. But after about four months, he disappeared without ever revealing his identity. Hmm. At one point, his predictions gained popularity, even in Japan. Yes, he certainly did get some things right. But on the other hand, he missed several others. Some of his posts contradicted each other, too. That's why, to this day, most people doubt his authenticity as a time traveler. Or there's the fact that butterfly effects happen and things change. So after 10 years of silence, that same John Titor is now on Japanese BBS? Huh. Trolling. Ridiculous. It's obviously a troll. Unless it's not. First of all, John Titor is American, yet now he's posting on at channel in Japanese. Let's take a look at his posts. Alright. We'll explore this in the next episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then, so bye-bye.